Hello there! My name is Wombat Barbecue, but most of you know me as Bear Grylls. I'm out here in the deep jungles of MSU Bozeman, and I'm in a survival situation. Now, let's take a look at the survival gear I got in here. I was able to get just a few things before I had to leave the plane. Let's see what we got in here. It's a nice backpack. Now everything you got, a cup of noodles! Holy crock, you smokers! We got a cup of noodles! Oh, we only had a microwave. Well, anyway, cup of noodles come great. Food is hard to come by out here in the deep safari of MSU Bozeman. What we got here? This looks like a hunting survival pack. It's got hearts of compass! Oh, if I only knew where I was, I could get myself out. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, another pad gloves. Very nice. What's in here? Oh, nothing. What the bloody hell? Oh, we got some electrical tape. In case that TV goes bonkers again. Let's see. Oh, another survival guide. And what's in here? Oh, a hat. Who needs a hat in the survival wilderness? What's this? Oh... Surgical gloves. This is in case I have to perform surgery on me. All right, let's put these back in here for later. How about in this big pocket? Oh, a hunting orange. We can do some hunting and some fly fishing. A first aid kit. Oh, now here, this is a surgical saw. This is in case I have to cut my own neck off. Now, put all this away. Pack it nice and tight. Gonna be happy traveling lightly. I think it's starting to snow a little bit out. I'm not. Oh, he's freaking blizzarding! Gee, me Christmas! We got. What the hell else we got in here? Oh, oh man, we got some survival tents. We got here. Yeah, is a, oh, this is a hiker two person dome tent. Only sold at Walmart. And here, ah, oh, this is a mess kit. Mess kits are coming handy. So if I ever get to eat that cup of noodles. What else we got in here? As you can see, we have a pre prepackaged Hiker Pro Micro Filter. This comes with one refillable Micro Pro Filter, and you can find it in any local camping store. Now, if it would stop snowing, <laughs> we could get on our way. Now, we just pack this up here, and we'll be on our way. Right, now, if you look over here, I came across a deep fishing hole out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing in sight. I mean, look over there. There's <laughs> wilderness and blimey. Look at that beast go. It's going. And there's another one. Oh, crikey. Well, let's we'll see if I can call for help. I'm going to show you a little technique on how to use a swiffer and your cell phone to get reception. As you can see here, all I had to do is 911. Operator, I'm stuck out in the wilderness. Yeah? Oh, you can't hear me? Hold on, let me use my Swiffer. How about now? All right, that's good. Right? Yes, this is Bear Grylls. Oh, I know you love my show. Well, that's great. All right, I'll talk to you later. I forgot to ask for help. Why? We're just gonna have to do some fishing then. But I don't have a fishing pole. So really, I could use the Swiffer. And the Swiffer can also be used as a deadly device to kill fish. When we come back on this episode, I'll show you how to kill a fish with a Swiffer.
Looks like I got a rabbit. Mousasaurus Rex. It could be a large Guinnessaurus Rex. Or a guinea bee. Them are ferocious creatures. They're very and cute looking. And they get up close, so rip your jugular out. I'm gonna go up here and track them. These ducks could be hiding them behind that massive glass here. Let's take a look. As you can see, the duck is a fierce predator. They can see us. The swarm right out. Get behind the camouflage. Get behind the camouflage. Now, when you see them, get close up there. If you drop us, you get too close and stick your fingers in there. You can never see your fingers again. Now, the ducks are surrounding a monstrous glacier right in the middle of that pond. I need to get over there. But I don't know how the hell I'm going to do that because my camera crew hasn't told me yet. So, right now, I'm going to sneak around the other side. Bad gills out. Right, I'm going to show you another device that can kill a bear. As you can see, over there behind that bush, there's a fierce Wookiee bear. The most feared. Oh, God, I think he sees us. Quickly, let me quickly describe this. Now, if you use a wet wipe, you can attach it here because the race is off it. Ready, go! Oh, I got you, bear! Oh, you Wookiee! Oh, you Wookiee! Oh! Right, we took down the Wookiee bear. Look at this massive incision that the sweat bear inflicted. This is one deadly weapon! Snow Stingray! There's a Snow Stingray! He's everywhere! He's everywhere! No stingray! I'm so startled right now! One bear barbecue out! Boy, set the camera up. <laughs> Forgot my camera. Food necklace special. It's a cup of noodles. Mm mm, good. I've been out here for 17 months <laughs> and I'm freaking freezing. I haven't seen too many signs of life out here. <laughs> this is one of the first ones, I think. Oh, he's all the cameras. You should zoom in on that and be like, I'm going to fly like sword again. <laughs> so they're mocking trees again. Food out in the wilderness. Right, look what we got here. Oh, it's a rare delicacy on the wild. An orange cream cigar. They usually can't eat these things raw. But I'm gonna break the taste. Ah, oh, tastes like chicken. <laughs>